what are the chances that they start to push AI as a mandatory, like AI brain implants, kind of like they're doing with vaccines? Now, I see that as a total possibility because they're already dropping these stupid keywords, like which you'll see here <clears throat> all the way at the bottom of this article. They mention it multiple times over and over and over again that you're going to get this massive change five years from now. It's going to be completely different than what we have now. It says, Nick says AI will make the world a much better place. I know it sounds cheesy, but but we will focus on artificial intelligence that will make the world a better place. AI will improve people's lives on a mass scale globally. This is what he keeps saying over and over through this entire article is how these artificially, this artificial intelligent implants on people's brains are going to make the world a better place. Kind of like, you know, vaccines, whether you're for them or against them. These are the same talking points. It's better for everyone. It's better for society. It's better, 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 better. Um, and that's what you have. You have brain implants. Never mind guys like Elon Musk saying that Google's, you know, deep mind brain implant is only going to be there for instant marketing type stuff. And granted, it will probably, granted, it will probably give you some enhancements but it's there for their benefit, not your benefit. There's another article from uh, CBS Chicago out of Northwestern. Northwestern Neuroscience is researching brain chips to make people super intelligent. And you, you look through this article a little bit, and I'll leave links to this stuff in case anybody wants to get a little bit more in-depth. You'll see that Musk is working with... Um, or is creating the Neuralink, which many people already know about, but Neuralink isn't AI. It's more of a connection to get you connected to the world and everybody else faster, from my understanding. But it doesn't operate on artificial intelligence. It operates off of your brain capacity itself. So you look a little bit more in here, and they're talking about IQ levels, and they say the average monkey is about 70. The average human is about 100. That's where most of us kind of chill out at. And then you have your genius, geniuses at 140. Uh, they say that people with a smart chip in their brain could have IQ of around 200. That's insane. That is, that's bananas, dude, to have an IQ of around 200. Now, what's really... I read through this entire article and I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. So we know they're, they want brain implants. They want all this crazy AI. They want these neural links. They want, us, they want to connect us to the hive. And then I seen this, which I did not know about this. 40,000 people in the United States have already had smart chips implanted into their heads. But those brain implants are only approved for medical use. What the f does that mean? What do you mean it's only approved for medical use? What are they doing? 40,000 people in the United States. Crazy. All right, guys. We'll be talking a lot more about this and also some of these other things um, that I have lined up on Thursday night. After Hours Live with myself, Last American Vagabond, over on the After Hours, the main channel. Be sure to subscribe to the main channel. Peace.